Voyager 2, a space probe built by NASA, was the first probe to explore the two planets, Uranus on the left and Neptune on the right, at a close range, breaking barriers in space exploration during the Cold War. The expedition, led by project scientist Ed Stone, was a success, giving us new information and pictures of Uranus and Neptune, as well as more information from the two gas giants, Jupiter and Saturn. This helped us learn about the universe we live in, the Milky Way galaxy, and is still, to this date, the only man-made object to study the outer planets as close as it did. NASA was founded July 29, 1958. The National Aeronautics and Space Act was signed by the former president of the USA, Dwight D. Eisenhower, to establish the Advanced Research Project Agency. It was during the space race and Cold War between the USA, the United States of America, and the USSR, the Soviet Union. The Cold War was a period of tension between the two countries that lasted between 1947 and 1991 and was at the brink of nuclear warfare. It was sparked by the different political ideals of the two countries, America being capitalist and the USSR being communist, both countries trying to spread their ideas. It ended with the collapse of the Soviet Union in 1991. The space race had a big part in this conflict, dominated by the USSR until the landing on the moon that marked the turning point for NASA and the USA. America, trying to vanquish communism, had also gotten into many wars during this time period, the most prominent being the Vietnam War that lasted from late 1955 to early 1975. The space race was a competition between the USA and the Soviet Union to achieve firsts in space. It was during a time where NASA was criticized for the amount they were spending. The Soviet Union got the upper hand by putting the first unnatural satellite, Sputnik, into space in 1957. America's success came later one of the biggest being Apollo 11, Neil Armstrong's walk on the moon in 1969. Although America lagged behind the USSR in space research, they still had very many successes before and after the moon landing, with the exploration of Venus by Mariner 2 in 1962, the exploration of Jupiter and Saturn by Pioneer 10 and 11 in 1958, the exploration of Mercury by Mariner 10 in 1974 and 1975, and the exploration of Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune in 1977 by Voyager 2. Voyager 2 also had a twin during this mission, Voyager 1, which was launched September 5, 1977. Voyager 2 and Voyager 1 were set to do more research on Jupiter and Saturn and possibly Uranus and Neptune. Before Voyager launched and successfully completed its mission, there was no close visual evidence of the two furthermost planets. Voyager 2 launched August 20th, 1977, from Cape Canaveral, Florida. It was launched in an effort to explore Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune, and their big moons. It would do extensive research on the two gas giants Jupiter and Saturn, and new research on the ice giants Uranus and Neptune, which to this day have only been explored by Voyager 2. It was launched when the four planets were in a very rare formation. They were right next to each other. Voyager 2 could bounce between planets to minimize time and giving it a gravitational boost, switching between the planets' gravitational pulls. This formation happens every 176 years. NASA continued to get more information about Jupiter and Saturn when they figured out Voyager 2 could continue to Uranus and Neptune with enough power and having all of its instruments working, so they sent it. The probe was equipped with new technology. If it were to encounter alien life, it would have a disk with sounds from Earth, photographs of everyday life, voices, music, 
and a human heartbeat, for examples. For me, the highlights of Voyager were clearly the planetary encounters. All six of them were wonderful experiences where every day we saw and learned new things. We had a lifetime of discovery packed into each one, Dr. Ed Stone said about the Voyagers. The scientists then continued to say about Jupiter's moon, Io. It was Friday afternoon, March 9, 1979, four days after Voyager's closest approach to Jupiter. The final press conference had wrapped up the day before, so the reporters had already left, and many of the scientists had gone home for the weekend. It was a very quiet afternoon. Andy Collins, who worked on the imaging team, came to me saying, You've got to see this. He took me to Linda Marabito, an optical navigator, who determined the precise locations of Jupiter's moons by analyzing Voyager pictures of them with a background of stars that had known positions. The latest picture of Io revealed a feature extending well beyond the moon's disk. It was an erupting plume, shooting far above Io's surface, an active volcano. Dr. Stone also talked about the most extraordinary thing he learned from Voyager. What the most extraordinary thing is how diverse bodies are in the solar system. The same processes which formed the Earth have formed these other bodies, but they are all distinctly different. And the, both the processes which shape them have also affected Earth in ways we need to understand. Voyager 2 gave us groundbreaking information about Uranus and Neptune, like how Uranus has no storms because it's too cold, even though it rotates very fast, and how Neptune has the fastest winds in the galaxy because it has no friction to slow the wind down. New ideas started to further prove themselves and form from the pictures taken by Voyager 2. The world was able to get photographic evidence of Neptune's five rings, four of them newly discovered from pictures the probe took, along with five moons the most featured one being Triton, the planet's biggest one. The probe was also able to detect geysers on the moon from vaporization of frozen nitrogen that builds up and later bursts. The other prominent feature Voyager 2 showcased on Neptune is Neptune's great dark spot, which is a big storm the same size as Earth. It discovered two rings and ten moons of the other ice giant, Uranus the featured moon being Miranda. Today, Voyager 2 is in interstellar space, which is past the heliosphere and where the sun's influence is lower. It is continuing to bring back information from the area. NASA is running other operations for us to learn more about our solar system. Rovers like the Curiosity. Curiosity is still bringing NASA amazing information about Mars, like Voyager 2 is doing. Voyager 2 is still active and very old for its time period, being much older than most of the probes launched during the same time, said by Dr. Ed Stone, which broke barriers itself. We hoped that we would reach the edge of interstellar space. In fact, we put on a special instrument just for this part of the mission, but none of us knew how big the bubble is, nor did we know that spacecraft could last this long. So in that sense, this journey has just been one of surprise after surprise. In conclusion, Voyager 2 had a big part in helping us explore our solar system and learn about the giants in it. It broke barriers, being the only probe to explore the four giants and being the only probe to explore Uranus and Neptune. All of our close information of the two planets are because of Voyager 2. It helped learn much more about the two gas giants of the solar system as well, and is still bringing NASA new information about interstellar space. Voyager 2 will forever be a big and important part of space exploration.